Hello everyone, this is the one, and I have a new capture card now. It's an Elgato HD 60S, and it seems to be working pretty well thus far, so I'm looking forward to being able to make more content for you guys, more videos, just in general, and be able to post what I need. So, yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what we get here. And yeah, I'm just gonna be doing some gameplay and discussing a few things, I guess, I could discuss in this match. I'm really curious what you guys want to see me discussing, I have mentioned this in a previous video, but uh, weapon discussion, what weapons do you want me to talk about, so I'm gonna mention that here. I got some good suggestions, but I want to see a bit more input, so if you haven't already suggested, just leave a weapon in the comments that you want me to discuss, or just talk about. And you can also just let me know what kind of content you want to see, I'm gonna be trying to do more gameplay. And hopefully this capture card works out well. So one thing I want to be discussing in this video, while I do some solo queue, and probably play poorly because I'm doing commentary with it, is Explosher in this patch. Because Explosher got some interesting changes, and I think a lot of people are very confused with some comments I made on Explosher, specifically stating it's overall better in this patch. I think a lot of people are confused on that because it seems like Explosher was pretty directly nerfed. So I want to explain what I mean on that specifically. First of all, the way it's nerfed works, I can actually demonstrate this real quick, is basically the lower you are sloshing from your spot, the less it will paint. The explosion's actual hitbox is unchanged, but how much it will be inking the ground is changed. So basically, if you're up really high and sloshing really far, since how far you slosh is also a factor and it's kind of complicated, you will be paying a lot less. And this was done very clearly to be specific nerfs to some of its stronger maps because of some ridiculous stalling it could do. Kind of similar to Splatoon 1 Dynamo, but I guess it's more proper for this game. So basically, you can see sloshes like that didn't paint too well, so the map there, compared to what they saw normally paint. And that's overall what this patch was trying to tone down. Specifically, this affects two maps in particular that people had problems with. The first one was Snapper, when you stood on Snipe and just basically sloshed his own, and you could just slosh in all four corners and hold it forever, which was good. And then Mori, which was less strong, but still really easy to stall both zones if you had control of your Snipe. Those were the two main areas in zone, since that's where it explodes very good, that it was made to tone down. But I think something that people don't really understand about patches, specifically when I've talked about different Kilo's videos, which is how I feel one thing to change, is that every patch difference, every kind of nerf or buff in any kind of weapon affects everything else. And that's something I don't think a lot of people see on the surface, or at least to the level that it does. Part of the reason Explosher likely got nerfed is because the main thing to deal with Explosher, being Stingray, was toned down quite drastically, which makes it a lot easier for a squadron to stall. You can also see this in how they toned down its points for special so it didn't have baller as much. This is because Explosher was really good at stalling in the spot, but one thing that was good at dealing with it was Stingray. Basically having a charger able to raid the Explosher out in these kind of positions. The other counter is Inkjet, though obviously a way less strong than it's just not that strong for the Special right now. So toning that down was overall a huge help for Explosher, especially in those zone stages. Because right now, and how the patch was going anyway, is that chargers are switching more to the Firefin variant rather than the Spot Charger, which means Explosher isn't dealing with as many raids and zones as it used to. This is just because of how the metagame shifted to a more paint heavy focus on zones, and Firefin is just a better option for that, especially with those changes and things like Junior taking over making raid situation more frequent. Junior Rising due to Armor Rising also gives even more opportunities for Explosion to liberate as it has the armor. But the extra 11 frames that you have to liberate when you're behind an object is really helpful since it allows it to be able to get in its baller or jump out a lot faster. Baller's activation time is 50 frames, and Stingray killed in 56 in the previous patch. Which means if they popped it on you, you couldn't exactly react and pop baller perfectly once they used it on you, because you didn't have that much time to react. And now you have a lot more time to pop it since it's 67 frames now, which is 11 frames more. Which, while it may not seem that much, is about a, a little more than a sixth of a second. Because of the activation time of the baller, and just how important it is for explosives to be able to 
is that the Libray or jump out, it makes it a lot easier to live right, and it's something I've noticed a lot this patch. As Explosher has a lot easier of a time surviving Ray. So I definitely understand why it's not down. So, on those specific maps where Explosher was toned down, I absolutely do feel it's weaker on. I don't feel it's as worth using on Snapper as it was previously. I don't think it was that strong anymore, but of course it's weaker there. But its overall strength in zones is still there, and for the majority of maps it's not affected for things such as Gobi's area or Anchovy's area by area uh, snipe, basically. It's not high up enough to where you're really going to notice it. Like, it's going to feel quite similar. You're not really going to notice the changes there to it. So it will still be paying just as well. And because the nerfs aren't really hitting it there, those are the maps where you're only really going to be throwing the positive side of things. Namely, the lack of ray and the armor helping it out because of that. So overall, I feel it's gotten stronger, and that's basically why, because outside of a few situations, the nerfs don't hit it that much, while the nerfs to other things such as Ray is a lot more apparent for Explosher to survive, which I think is really important for it. But that's basically the gist about it. V-Explo isn't worth using at all, FYI. Like, like it doesn't seem bad, but... The special has zero coordination with it, zero synergy with it, and Baller is basically the reason you can live a bunch of stuff. But some of Explode's main maps, where it was still good on, like Gobi and Triggerfish, are still perfectly fine for it because those aren't affected, and there it's much, much stronger now that it doesn't have to deal with Ray. Especially Triggerfish is the main one where it's so much better on now that it can just live Ray and sit behind the wall and it can still stall zone, and that wasn't changed since there's no height difference when you're behind the wall. And then just from zone to zone, or zone over their wall, or great over the wall, all that stuff is the exact same, which is ridiculous. So yeah, I feel like Splo is still really strong. I still think it's mainly a zones pick, but it can be good on CB and some other maps occasionally. But overall, I think it's definitely gotten better this patch. Just overall, the meta changes help it do a lot better than it was before. I still think for it to be largely successful on other modes, mainly in TC and Raymaker, it would need a stronger third kit. I don't want to see the main weapon buffed in any way, because I don't think it needs it. It could even be toned down a little more, if I'm being quite honest. But one thing I would hope it does get is a better kit, even if it means toning down the main weapon, because it would be really nice to be able to see this show its use in other modes. But right now, it's only really too useful in zones, and a bit of clan bloods maps. But overall, it's mainly a zones pick. Even though it's really strong, it's mainly that, because the kit doesn't really allow it to succeed on other modes. While, because the main weapon can't really just stall the objective as for free as it can on the other modes, it requires a lot more specific positioning and stuff. But, if it were to have a better special to where it could still have a special that's more impactful on the match, such as Booyah Bomb, or Ink Storm, or something like that, it would definitely be much stronger since it would be able to have specials for objective and that could help it stop tower rain that girl a lot easier. So it'd be interesting to see if it got a better kit. Because currently the kits it has are very weak, but C explodes in the situation of while it's not really good at countering things that other backlines throw at it, or it's still good enough to like keep it alive from being rushed down and allow the main weapon to just stay alive and continue being a pain in the ass. Which is ultimately still good enough for it right now. But, yeah, I think it's pretty interesting to see how this weapon will develop. Since it's very extreme in its strengths and weaknesses. Another thing I want to talk about is Explosher in comparison to other backlines. I don't think Explosher is exactly a backline. It can work as a backline, but I think its usefulness is rather independent. And it functions really well with the two relevant backlines right now, which is Ballpoint, Splatling, and the Squat Charger. The other backlines are a lot weaker in this patch. I don't, you're not really going to see them too much. Maybe a bit of Sea Jet, but Sea Jet's actually the best backline to pair with Explo. And Explo is the best time dealing with it than the other two, so that doesn't really matter in any negative way. Ultimately, the idea is that Explode still, especially on zones, which is where you'll see it being used anyway, still works perfectly fine 
with or without another backline. Because it still has the option to lift other backlines and still pairs with other backlines. You'll mainly see Explode Plus backline on certain maps where it's favors longer range, such as Albacore or Camp Triggerfish, but in general you can still see it on things like Gobi or Reef or really anything. This Explode can still work perfectly fine with it. I don't know, this blows in an interesting spot, so it's just some problems. But, I'm gonna try to focus the game now so I can play better. Because it's playing blitz and that requires your attention. <laughs> anyway. I need to get better, like, actually. I'm mainly just focusing on trying to hold dead right now. Getting some swing to the left, so I can pressure that. I'm gonna have to go the clam, it's fine, I can back off, I just want to talk to this guy's dead. Use the map to help fall off here. Just to make sure I can get this hit to test the run before he throws the super. I'm trying to get this guy here, so he gets hit down there. I could definitely work on my commentary, honestly. But I guess I could try to explain what I'm doing in matches, even if it's just so cute. Okay. Works, though, it works. I think these are both really good explore maps. I actually quite like this rotation for it, even though it's CB. CB maps is not good. Pretty good. And there's my gear. <laughs> in case anyone hasn't seen it. This patch is interesting. I'm glad they mainly just touched specials in a good way. Both Ray and Baller changes were more than I thought they were going to do. Much better than what I expected them to do. I really like what they did in Baller, especially. The vertical hitbox change, just basically making Splashdown a counter for it is like the ultimate reversal, because before Baller just shat on Splashdown, it's the opposite way. And then it doesn't counter Booyah Bomb as easily at any weight now, because before it basically broke the armor and now it doesn't like do anything to it. I love that kind of change that made it from War Ballers basically a way to deal with pretty much any specials where there's actual specials that can't really counter effectively, which is a really good change for it. I don't think any specials like stupid good right now. Just Ray on TC and Ray Maker is still really strong if I'm being quite honest. But I'm not sure what they could really change to it too much. With armor it's tolerable on TC. Ray Maker eh. It's just kind of what the game is. Unfortunately, why I really dislike those two moves, especially a Rainmaker, because Rainmaker there's no way to really protect the actual objective of the special. This armor won't chain to it, you can't body block a ray. This will take too long to get to it, and then the other option is just wall another fucking ray. And if FYI, one one thing I think is bad game modes, if the counter to something is just itself and nothing else as effective as that, that's not really good. Like, one thing I don't like about Ray is the best counter to Ray is just another Ray. That's why I like armor here, because armor is actually starting to be more effective than a counter Ray. Because it basically is nullifying it while letting your team stay in. Well, not completely really nullifying it, but making it a lot harder to actually get kills and pressure while not having you have a player back up and use Ray. So that's what I like about that. That's one thing I like about the chain. That doesn't affect the Rainmaker at all, because the Rainmaker can get armor, so it kind of sucks. Missiles Rising Up is also great, since it can help the deal with it. I don't know, the weapons that are strong are much more based on the main weapons themselves now, than the actual kits they have for a lot of the weapons. Seeing this with Soda, which is a great situational kit, being the best slosher. Seeing it with 96 and Tetra Rising, despite being Splashdown weapons. Especially Tetra. I mean, the fact that we have teams winning JP trainings with Auto Bomb Rush plus First Bomb Rush with because uh, Light plus Soda is actually really insane, and I don't think it's top enough. I mean, uh, even if people really know about those results existing. Yeah, that's something that's really interesting. I'm just. 
I'm blind at 12 o'clock clearly because I didn't even see that super clam <laughs> until it fucking died. Skyland. Just want to make sure he's not gonna die. Here. I'm just gonna pressure this snipe, honestly. Okay. Oh, there's one shark in here. Hi. How you doing? Can I come up here? Can I go down? Alright, bye. No. No. <laughs> That's our slow fight so you can see with any kind of objects. Just abuse the shit out of it. Be a little bit to find every little wall you can. Battery angle clutch, 90 hit when they tap enemy for 2 seconds. Every time I fucking slot this guy, he's just really wrong. He just needs to get everything. I don't blame him, he's just kind of fun. He does have a charge to go for it. I thought he might not have died. Yeah, that was over essentially yeah. at its core right there. <laughs> They're probably gonna push now because not. Right. This leader's position is a pain in the ass. Fine. Like, this healer knows exactly where he needs to be to be a pain in the ass. Also, that pro just got tripled. Guys, I'm gonna use sensors here purely because I don't want my mates getting sharp on. They don't know he's there. Then he ended up coming through this, so that's cool. No. Oh, they're trying to toss clams when they go there. I'm not. No, you can let them go. You're not going over here. No. Those are all dying. Too bad. Throw at me. Probably. Yeah. We have the lead, so. I want to kill this bro because this would make Playmaker here. Okay. And now they only have two people. This guy is dead. And yeah, I don't know. There he is. Okay, bye. Bye. Sometimes just keeping aware of the amount of clams they have and need to push any knee can help you determine what player can be important killer. Could have gone back and tried to go for the person rushing the basket, but that was the more important one to do. And it was good. I do enjoy doing solo this late, even though I'm tired and play like shit because of it. It's a much better chance of getting JP lobbies where I live. And it's better to be tired and playing worse, but to have actual good games. Much more fun to have actual challenging lobbies. It makes the game much more fun. And prep is much more important. Rather than just capitalizing on people's shitty habits because it's NA lobbies. Be able to play a few blows at least more similar. Still a little bit more useful. Is it actually improving the things? And playing solo keeps more to improve at an individual level. And in without JP lobbies, it's just not really possible for any players. Really do much work. You still can't really as easily get as high cards as JP and Bubbies normally are, but it's better. That's all I can really ask for. Still, the idea that I'm getting this mostly because I live in Cali and time zones closer to JP, things closer, locations closer. Yeah. I kind of understand why they do it, considering the majority of the player base. Especially the better side of Jap uh, Japanese. 
and on region locking it without making the exact boundaries more tight, which might not happen. It could definitely make the quality for Japanese players significantly worse, which is ultimately the reason I think they did this. It wasn't really these people being like low AP players lagging, even though with their latency they're still less lagging than average AP players. I think it's mostly because Japanese players would want a better quality solo people. And that's ultimately what they get by having it mostly region locked. So I can kind of understand that. This is kind of... Okay, bye. <laughs> I got hit with a ball on this one. Oh, it's good. It's good. Ah, that's not what I'm going for. This one's going to throw it. Probably at them, actually. No. Come on, dead. still do this. That's not how you counter splashdown. Not how you counter a ball of splashdown. And yes, I'm aware I am still capitalizing on people not knowing how to properly use it. But you actually just wait for the baller to explode, then pop your splashdown. Because baller can still wait for splashdown. I guess go. Splashdown doesn't have a timer and baller does. That's why splashdown will ultimately do that. Push is dying, so... Plus. I really want map control, because they have three weapons I can completely go for shit. Everyone's fast for us. Ah, why? I'm gonna go up here. Is there one where I snipe? Yes, there is. Uh, that does not look normal. Where are they? Okay. I don't know where the last one is, but I have ball, so if he tries to rush me, fine. There's one like right here. We have a bunch of clamps to just push. Yeah, let's just do the surging thing and go right here. Except the slosh. And I didn't ball for whatever reason. And we didn't go. That was sloppy. I had to be more careful about the slaughter. It's basically not better. I'm trying to fight it when it's range, I really should. Okay, where did this... Jesus, this is so aggressive. This is... Specific. Okay, now he's up. Good, good guy. Pick up plans, pick up plans. Oh, no, no. Marking him so that my teammate can are at least useful in solo ranks. Oh my god, I can't climb the wall! <laughs> He's dead at least, but fuck. If they can just stay alive there, I can grab the pig. I just want them to stay over there. One of them just focuses on me. There we go. And... There we go. Bye. I don't think anyone's actually going for a clam. No, no one is. Cool, we got the kills, but now they have another chance. I guess it doesn't matter too much if you two supers. Uh, no, it's not worth rushing this and dying. They're actually gonna hopefully do that. Oh, this guy's overextending. He's dead. He can't dodge this. That's good. And that's GG. It's not really worth feeding in to get no more points and just give them another ball because you could theoretically knock it out when you could just play safe and know that you have mid control. Sometimes it's now we're just rushing in. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't want to do some more explode gameplay on Zone instead because it allows it to be. Alright, it's more fun. A lot more stuff can happen when you have zones proper positioning, but it's still fun on other modes. I still enjoy it. And Denite Lobby is unfortunate. I still really enjoy 
Splint Brawl, and that's ultimately the reason I still play them. Like, unless if they were absolute shit, I'd still play them. As long as they were worth using. Because they are my favorite weapons in the game by far. I still use other weapons every now and then when needed. Because it's unfair to my team if I were to just play weapons that weren't good in situations where I could play better weapons for it. I think our team is in Loki has made a lot of good confidence. Some more interesting things to pursue, but nothing bad. Ultimately, a lot of good changes. Mainly the backline change from spawn to chargers. Going to be more of a necessity as things go on. It's good to make that change. And patches overall like, made a lot of the weapons be better. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with that. I'm so blind. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh. Wait. Someone. Hi. Okay, he's dead. Chargers. Probably just gonna go away. Hello. Oh, that's a bad race box for you, sister. Oh, never. I was being completely overly cautious with that fucking hydra. He didn't even drop. Eh. I'm just stuck on a wall, I'm just getting out. Killing him. Yeah. I would have died if I had full race in that combo. You see backlines are just walling everything out. I'm not doing good job with dealing with that. I'm just trying to throw the mix up at Okay, now we're in the situation where I can just fuck them off with my goals. Um, yeah, they're keeping it on the sleeper. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't ground it from the mid to the light. That sucks. The roller might be here. I'm gonna just grab the clams and dip. That could have definitely been a push, but that's okay. That much. All the blobs gonna die. Yep. I have nine. I think I just took a lot of time. No, no, no. Oh! Smaller shark here. Hi! You really didn't want that armor, did you? That kind of gave you away. No, yes, it is. Dude, who do you want to come on you? Like, there's no chance. You don't have a super. <laughs> what is he waiting for? He wasn't even in a spot where you could jump with a fucking super in. I don't know what the fuck that card is trying to do there. That made no sense. to help this guy with the way fight. That was the absolute end of the shot. I don't have a plan for you, but I'm gonna pair with you anyway. Just gonna get out the corner. And I'm getting too greedy. I need to help him live. I'm gonna start going behind this guy. Dude. Alright. <laughs> We cannot push for the life of this game, though. No. I'm not poking out to fight them. I'm die. I'm not doing that. No, don't! I have no clams! Don't toss me clams when I am done! Here, here. You have clams. I tossed them! Here. Here. Good job. Yay. It took pretty much the entire match for, for scoring points. I just want to come up on this. That was overextension at its finest, but I don't care. I'm just happy we actually fucking scored finally. 
As long as we don't overextend, it's going to have two backs in the blob. It should be absolutely fine. And this roller just keeps running and trying to make shit happen. Line 100. Just um, a roller. Alright, what are you doing? <laughs> I roller tunnel vision so fucking hard. You did the same thing over and over. You only like literally blind the people right next to me could go like that. Bro. That was so fucking ten pong. Oh my god, I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> All he did was bang for his dog. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Blob's interesting. It's still shit though, unfortunately. Maybe at max potential it could be a mid tier. I don't really see it. It's just pretty shitty. Too reliant on opponents fucking up. And it just doesn't do that good job of being a wall. Compared to other weapons. Still has jank blob shit it can do. Which is cool. Not sure how you go about buffing it without making it stupid. But. That's okay. Okay, that's the soda from there. There's these really aggro chargers. Some rain, busy spam beluga. I think that's the goo then. Also the goo. So. That's nice. The sloshers are definitely gonna try to push all my ball. In. Oh, he's gonna put it. Yeah, I need a way to make him better. I can still harass people. This bucket is stunning, so it goes over to me. And I don't do blind. It's cool. Now we got two dead. Let's do some identification. Whoop. Goodbye. Oh, he jumped to spawn, so he's gonna lose his super. We can find. This is the goo, so I can carefully just outrun him. And there's the ball. In. You can shred the ball so I'm not here with him. I'm gonna just go for the blue guy. Which is gonna just focus on other shit. Slosh is gonna chase me, probably dead. Actually, I'm just gonna let him chase me. Never mind. I thought we had people pushing him still. Which would be kinda of worth it, but people will die. Bad awareness of my own. Oh, that dude is gonna kill me. There's nothing I can do about it. We have dudes. They have all special students. Really bad. They don't really have the clams since they do the help of me to splash down. That's... No, that's the view I could have challenged that. I wasn't sure if it would be with her. I'm dead here though. Really come out. Still pushing the left side, but they need the super to go in. He was trying to go for it, and then he's gone. Um... That wasn't too impressive, but I'm flipping it anyway. Aw, <laughs> uh, dang. I thought that one wasn't good. It's really easy to confuse me. No. Really going on this fucking tire. So of course, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> I... They only push to 80 actually, I didn't even realize that they only scored the super. Luga drops, so we're okay. Oh, two of them just died too. That's everything distracted. That's great. Why am I just 
give you some real objective points while they're respawning. Oh, the loot is here. 55. Guess correctly was enough to kill. Using the map. Still can only really go for these flash rounds when I either have no choice or I you know the 55 is gonna kill. I don't know why there's so many sloppy pushes. Just like unable to get the base push going. Oh, this move is weak, I can we're gonna drop this path. I'm dead. Yeah. Nothing I can do there. I'm just gonna die to get this tunnel on. They're probably gonna get a push off this. Yeah. Um, a little more than two supers will take this back. I might actually grab one, even though I'm having this one. There's one behind us. I knew it. Hopefully my team can help me. Oh, this is not good. I'm just gonna rush him back. We still have 20 seconds of OT if they don't score. Oh, he's weak, he's weak! We gotta go. I have to just go. He jumped! Oh my god, I don't know why he jumped. Oh, that's why, but it might still be enough! Please, two more, someone! Go, go, go! Holy shit! <laughs> What a comeback! <laughs> oh, I don't know why he jumped out. He could have probably hit that snipe on me. Like, I had a score or OT would have ended. That was a big choke. Dang, they should have won that game by all accounts. Seems is actually kind of nice to play for JP Loggers. Nowhere near as much dumb shit. Actual coordinated pushes. When Jank isn't focused on, the mode's actually so good. Like, it's actually so fucking fun. But, I don't know, I don't think the West is gonna optimize it that well yet. Even Mountain Team Bar Jank's still pretty prioritized. I mean, it works in the right situations, but. Overall, hopefully, we get some more developed pushes. That'll be good. GC and Raymaker is still just... <sighs> don't work too well. Okay. Two ninjas with front lines and then to the mid range. They really need map control for their constant folks. They do well. So, I think our comp is definitely better. But. If they get in, that's gonna be really annoying. I can actually run some more money. Dang, that was good killing my control. Not the robot either. Ah, uh, I was trying to push on the zone for a reason. I was just dead. I'm just gonna paint mid. Probably just have to get in super close cool range. I have no problems harassing them. Don't need to overextend them. They have to really do this push. I can fight this. 
If I don't get suction bombed. <laughs> oh my god. How did I not fucking see? Sorry, I'll I'll grind solo this late and I'll become not blind. For sure. I'll adjust. I'm not blind this hour. Neither team is ample plan to push. So even though they're in our shit and we have the right path open, none of that is relevant. That's good. Oh, he's gonna have to push. Can you have some fun for slow? Aww. Oh, I could have definitely seen that sooner. I mean, it's not horrible, I guess. It's a push. It's not a very important one. Plus, now they have a ball for the first time. Um, I'm gonna just wall this goo out. You know, oh, I can't do that. I didn't think he was weak enough. I might not have known for his surprising. I almost won a score shot that's 35. I'm not going for it. Probably definitely two shots. I need one more. If you don't see them in this bomb, I'll be real careful. Oh my! Wow. I thought the guy underneath him shot him when he jumped down, and I was just gonna help follow his foot. I think he blew up. That was a really aggressive play. I was gonna die, probably. Kill one of them. I'm just gonna try to get him. Oh no, this is bad. That vertical will kill me. As long as we keep tabs on them. Okay, we don't want to get this super. Oh, alright. Good push, guy. Oh, this is really overzealous, but I want these plans. Yeah, that's why I was overzealous. And definitely have to get a clutch push. We don't need too much, but two supers in the reg is still a lot. I'm probably dead unless I read this. Or he just chokes, because I completely misread that. I had to guess where he rolled basically in the middle of the 90, but he just choked instead. Okay, I'm gonna help this guy push this side. I have balls. I'm gonna toss him here and just go above. I dropped him thinking I die. I don't even think we're gonna get the super. He did. Oh my god, I can't. Input. Oh my god, I was gonna go for it, but we have to leave. Wait, 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 wait. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> These are the stupidest endings! The brush on top right got clams and I was able to sneak past the spy commando to really the score. What a fucking way to win. <laughs> oh my god. I also like this transition from just random discussion to actually sufficient decent commentary on solo queue games all right the rotation's changing we got time for one more if we find a lobby so let's get this get one more game in get power tomorrow or when another time we play it i don't know if all the fucking see me tomorrow depends we'll see what we got jp lobby's good sign fine with both of these maps Hoping we get him back. I think it's a little bit better. Sturgeon's kind of focused on the top. But I don't mind. And we got Sturgeon. Low level JP lobby. Still gonna be better than any lobby, so. Perfectly happy with it. And we have a silver arrow. That's definitely not a good sign. 
At least Curling Launcher can actually pop shit now that they have some ballers or anything. So... Hey, yeah, you got the baller kill. I got this guy. And there's another one. Oh, it's super cool. For a while, I'm not gonna fuck up. Not on the wall. I got the hitbox, but the hitbox ends up immediately even if the shielding doesn't, so it ended up in a trade. Right. We absolutely take those. I want to go up here because they have absolutely nothing to deal with this. They have no range. Their long strength weapon is no main power. Yeah, I guess. Right. I ran out of ink, please. We got it. Alright. Then you drop. Still one here. I played that completely safe. I'm like a bitch. And I don't care. I did not want to die. This 52 is probably getting me. Oh, good. Sometimes you can kind of lob shots like there to wall. Areas out, and you can try to pretty much instantly kill them or trap or hit them with enough damage to trap them before they can't dodge the third. I didn't mean to get here, but this spot's gonna be nice because I have a ball with the They have double bombs in here though, and not double bombs, but just a lot of bombs. But I mean, there's one right here. Please rush me, don't just jump, thank you. Also, I can't tell if he was blind or if that was 52 RNG, quite honestly. This is why I mean. Uh, where is this guy going? Alright. Hey, great. Thanks. Oh, we're gonna have another two. Alright, oh. anyway, I'm... Why did I do that? <laughs> I, for whatever reason, died more time and was waiting for them to, like, not be aware of something when they were already coming out. I have zero fucking game sense right now. Is one here? That's it. Alright, we're just gonna play if you rush you get armor. Where's he throwing it? At me. Aw, oh, this is not good for me. Damn it. So many things flash down. I can get up or just hit up to my beat die. I know. I'm probably gonna go for the pity. They have so many clams actually. This is gonna be a KO. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's my own fault for being blind. Not thrown into clamps in time, though I guess it wouldn't matter in the end since their push is already too strong. We have bomb set up perfectly. Mm. Just unfortunate. A lot of mistakes in my end that I shouldn't have made. I guess it happens. Two losses, six wins. Definitely not the strongest play, but not the worst. <laughs>